It was so awkward. <laughs> I just like looked at Val and I was like, well, we don't shake hands. I was like, what do we do? I'm like, cooking and yay. Curling now enters the Sports Weekend Spotlight. One for each of them. How nice of you as a mom. Yeah. I said to them, do you girls want to wear these? Yes, sure. <laughs> oh, awesome. How excited, girls, are you to have your mom go to the worlds now? Excited. Really excited. I bet. <laughs> I bet. Carrie, what was your reaction? Oh, I was so excited when I got the news. I, uh, I've heard rumors, but I didn't want to get uh, my hopes up. Um, so I just kind of said, oh, cool. Hopefully it'll happen. And once we got the news today and it finally came out, I was just so excited. <laughs> Carrie, uh, just watching the end of that Scotty's final again and, and, and no fans, so different from a year ago. Can you can you walk us through what you were feeling in that moment? Because you were you're kind of looking around and you want to celebrate, but can you tell us a little bit more about that moment? And then you look up and you have the video board. Just walk us through that. It was so awkward. <laughs> I just like looked at Val and I was like, "Well, we don't shake hands." I was like, "What do we do?" I'm like, "Cooking and yay!" <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. Throw my hands up in the air and celebrate for ourselves. It was, it was awkward. I definitely miss having these two there to uh, run and give hugs to and my husband. So um, yeah, it's, it was definitely different, but it still felt amazing. Can I tell you, girls are dead ringers for you. Do they curl? They yes. do? Yes. Yeah. Really? One's a, left, one's a lefty, one's a lefty, and one's a righty. Oh, man, that's going to be a dangerous combination. Boy, you will be a winning team soon, won't that's you? Like Cal and I, hey? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Carrie, how do you feel about curling in May? Well, um, that'll be different. <laughs> we did a few years ago in Russia, I believe, when we went there. But, uh, I will give anything to play in world. So if it's in May or June, July, sure, bring it. <laughs> I, I know it's it's early days, Carrie. You literally, we finally got official word this morning, but have you guys talked as a team about what the next bit looks like leading up to that? Um, we are having a meeting on Monday. We kind of just wanted to have the weekend to celebrate and just do our thing even though we can't do anything <laughs> but um yeah we uh just wanted to wait but we talked a little bit and uh but not too much and what about watching the skipper brad gushu uh your mixed dubs partner yeah i've sent him actually it's too funny because he's in my room that i was in so uh i uh saw that he was tweeting some stuff out and I was like, are you by any chance? Maybe you're in my room. What room number? He's like 324. I was like, that's mine. Wow. If I wow. would have known that, I would have uh, left him some some notes. <laughs> and if I knew anything about numerology, I would look at the significance of that room number, but I don't, you know? But what, uh, yeah, so yeah, what and, do you do? Uh, Mark, you... Mark is also in uh, Val's room, so. Who knows? Cool. Maybe we'll leave them some good vibes this week. <laughs> Tell me, what's your curling club status? I mean, last time I talked to you were on the ice there and you were hoping a curling club opened in Selkirk or Gimli. I, I can't remember, but. Um, it was Petersfield. Petersfield has is the only club that has ice, but unfortunately I can't, uh, I can't use it. <laughs> so. Yeah, with just government rules, we're just all self-isolating here. <laughs> oh, I thought you only had to isolate for two weeks and that'll be up soon, won't it? No? 
Well, no, because we it'll be a week on Monday, and then uh, I fly over Monday on wow. the twenty or on the fifteenth. So, yeah, um, I text Brad. I was like, "Sorry, Brad, I might be a little rusty. I won't be able to throw." <laughs> But you going should... into the bubble at the Scotties, I didn't uh, throw either. So what does that tell you? Right. Oh, it works. <laughs> <laughs> All those years I've ruined my hips and knees. Maybe it was a waste yeah. of time. <laughs> I'm a little uh, nervous for sweeping, though. Um, that might be a challenge. <laughs> oh, good point. Who is going to be your key sweeper there? I think it's me. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, Carrie, uh, you finally get to wear the maple leaf at an international event. What does that mean to you? I am absolutely honored and I can't wait to wear that maple leaf with pride. It's something I've always dreamed about and wearing it on a world stage. So mm -hmm. I just can't, can't wait. And to hear all the fans cheering from afar, not from up close. Um, it's going to be truly amazing and a dream come true. And, and, and what, and what about you two? How were you guys watching mom when she was in the bubble? And, and are you going to do the same thing when mom's back in the bubble? What's your girl's plan? We are going to watch it on TV a lot. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Zoom. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Well, we're so glad you Joy took some time for us. We were so excited, Carrie, to hear the news that you're getting to Worlds because uh, it sure felt like you were ripped off last year when you were at the uh, at the event and then it was pulled out. So enjoy every minute of it. You know what? We'll be talking to you again in May. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you for joining us. And girls, nice to see you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.